Hi, my name is Sharon Pope, and I'm the love and relationship coach for women who want more. And this handsome fella is Leo. <laughs> you might see Luna running around too. They like to be in the mix on my videos. Hey, stop. <laughs> okay, so today we're gonna talk about how our beliefs impact our experience. So first let's talk about what a belief is, because I don't think that we're all really clear on what it is. So a belief is just a thought that you keep thinking over and over and over again until it becomes almost like a part of you. It's like this deeply held part of you, of what you believe. And then every action, choice, decision you make goes through that belief filter. Almost think of it like a screen. <laughs> Here's Luna. Almost think of it like a screen that every single choice and action and behavior and decision that you make is going to go through the screen and embedded in that screen are all of your beliefs. Beliefs about what's right and wrong, about what's good and bad, about who you should be or who you shouldn't be. <clears throat> so beliefs impact all of our behavior, particularly when it comes to relationships, and they're incredibly important. So beliefs are going to come into play as it relates to what you perceive as love and loving behavior. Beliefs are going to come into play based upon whether or not you're trying to control someone so that you can feel better, more secure, more worthy, prayer, whatever. Beliefs can also be the thing that will keep us from making ourselves vulnerable to another human being. Which, by the way, is the only path to any kind of real intimate relationship. Let me give you an example. Because if you carry the belief that real men don't have emotion, that real men don't talk about their feelings, or that if I let my guard down, I can get hurt. All of those beliefs keep you from the one thing that you want more than anything, which is that real deep, intimate, lasting relationship. Now, <clears throat> once you start challenging those beliefs, now, I just view it as becoming compassionately curious about those beliefs. Trying to understand, where did they come from? Why are they here? And then asking the question, do they serve me? Do I want to keep them going forward? Or maybe release them? So let me give you an example. If I feel like I'm not really worthy of a loving, healthy, connected, intimate relationship, then what I'm going to do inside of every new relationship is I'm going to start the hustle, the dance, for acceptance and approval. I'm not going to be who I really am. I'm going to put on that mask. I'm going to put on that dance to be who I think you want me to be so that you love me. No one ever wins in that scenario. And our beliefs, they just started from this painful little thought. And then we latched onto it and thought it over and over and over again. And then it influenced everything that came after it, including our most important relationships. You want the good news? We can change our beliefs. We can change our beliefs a lot easier than we can change our circumstances. If this was helpful to you, I hope that you will give this video a like and you will subscribe to this channel because I come out with new content every single week. Be well.